Hi and welcome to Raven and Rose. This is another of my Halloween series videos and today I have chosen Bloody Mary. Now who hasn't heard the myth that if you stand in front of a mirror and you say the name Bloody Mary three times she will appear. Well, I'm a bit of a scaredy pants so I'm not going to do that on video even if it would make this video look really really cool. So I'm just going to show you how I made her. Okay, so the first thing I'm doing is making my skin as light as possible. So I went and bought a really cheap um, foundation because I'm going to do lots of looks where you're really super light. I'm applying um, my shape tape under my eyes and then a really cheap powder to go over the top. And then I'm using the middle lower section of the Anastasia Beverly Hills to draw out my brows and just to start my contouring a little bit. So I'm working on my cheekbones first and then my nose and my under eye bag all with the same colour. So I'm blending the crap out of that that I've put on my cheekbones because it is very heavy and yeah it's eyeball time. I'm really sorry if you don't like eyeballs, but I gotta put those red lenses in for this look. They look so cool. So I'm darkening up my eyebrows a little with a, a dark gray. And then I'm going into the same palette as before, and I'm just using the banana shade, top middle shade, and then the highlighter shade, the top right shade. And I'm bringing that well down underneath. I'm using, um, it's just slightly brown first to get um, a foundation laid down of my chosen colour on this eye socket and I'm bringing all the colours straight down and then I'm using, it's definitely got to be ready brown to use, it doesn't matter what brand it is but a more ready brown is good. I'm then using a blusher because that's the best red eyeshadow I could find at the moment without paying an absolute fortune uh, to add redness around the eye area. Lining my lower and my upper lashes in black. Black. Sounds creepy. And then chick on two or three coats of mascara. It doesn't matter if you make a mess. It's not like your normal makeup. You don't have to worry about those little dots of mascara everywhere. You're funking her up anyway, so just Chuck it on. So I'm using a face paint in red to line my eyes and then going in with cheap as chips eyelashes. Don't use your best eyelashes for Halloween. There's no point. These were three for a pound and I was like, right, I'll take three packs. So this is my clotted dark blood. It's my favourite and it just looks so real. I'm just smoothing it out on the eye area and letting bits of it settle into the lines and creases that I have and bringing it right down underneath my eye. And you can see I'm dotting around with my finger to leave like almost fingerprints. And then I wanted to create some blood tears. Now, if I was doing this just for YouTube normally, I would have gone all out with the blood coming from my mouth and everywhere else. But as it's a Halloween video and you may be wearing this on Halloween night, I didn't want to chuck loads of stuff around my mouth and stuff that might get in the way of you eating and drinking. So I'm further contouring with a grey, as you can see. And I'm bringing that contour down my jawline and underneath that chin and trying to magic away my triple chin and I'm bringing it up so that my cheekbones look really prominent
and again using it up top as if it was my bronzer and then just sticking my finger in and getting, getting in there it's kind of cool so I'm using my new toy my zombie skin uh, that I just bought from the face painting shop my most favorite shop in the world and this is a much thicker latex that dries much quicker too um, this is my first time using it so I really should have practiced first but I got the effect I wanted and I'm drawing a cross from the top of my whole head right down to the middle of the bridge of my nose I'm trying to shape it as best I can so that there's a lump in the middle and not loads all over my skin but I left it a little bit too long in some places so if you do have some of this zombie skin or you're gonna go buy some because it's it is awesome I would suggest you have a couple practice shots with it unless like you're like really good <laughs> at applying it already and you know what you're doing so I'm darkening up my lip area because like I said I don't want to put loads of blood around there I want to be able to eat and drink and be merry so I'm using a clay tool just to draw down the middle of the cross and I'm just trying to make it a really thin line But I don't want it to be precise. I want it to look a little ragged. So I'm going in with another clay based tool that I use um, to give a little bit of a ragged effect. So I'm gonna add a tear to my other eye. This stuff's great, pretty much once it's on, it's on. It doesn't move. And I'm using the same product to now fill in that cross as if there is blood pouring out of the middle. So I'm starting to draw in little veins now. Um, the best way I've found of doing it is just to kind of put your brush on your skin and wiggle it from side to side as you move it towards the area you want to go and then pat it out with your finger and the warmth of your finger will help to make them look like they are under your skin but this is a Halloween look so you can go you know you can act, you can go ham on it like I did with the purple there but then under you know certain types of lighting is stronger and other types it's a bit weaker so I put loads on there because I really love veining I think it's gorgeous and I think splitting between the two colors as well really really helps the effect so I'm going now around the edge of that uh, latex. I want to make it stand out as if it's uh, 3D. And so I'm going around the edges with a very light gray to start with, just to give me a base to work from. And then I'm building up the color as I go. I'll be using a, uh, a dark gray, a black, very small amounts, and a plum color. Okay, so that reddy browny colour really makes the irritation effect. Add some more blood. Add a really crappy old cheap wig. I think I got this from my supermarket, from the Halloween kids section. Back comb the ass out of it and then popped it on my head so this is my version of bloody mary now you can up the ante with the blood 
you can change the veining it's completely up to you it's, it's interpret it however you want but if it helps great if not I have lots of other videos for you to look at that you may prefer it was actually kind of fun freaking out and screaming <laughs> like Bloody Mary and making her look as freak as possible um, so this is the finished look I hope you like it um, under the photographic light as you can see some of the veining stands out more than others so that's what I was talking about with different light effects I really hope you enjoyed the video I really enjoyed making this one and I appreciate you spending your time with me so happy Halloween you take care and I will see you very soon bye bye